Okay, we're going to look at using a Bode plot in order to estimate what we call the phase margin of an op amp. What we're going to try and do is to find the angle of our loop gain when the magnitude of our loop gain is equal to 1 or 0 dB. Okay, so first let's plot our open loop gain. And we're assuming that we still have that one pole op amp where A of S is equal to A sub zero divided by one plus S divided by omega P one. Okay, so the amp starts to roll off at omega P one. It has a low frequency gain of 20 log A sub zero. And it's a one pole system. So we're going to say that it has a phase of zero degrees it has a 45 degree phase shift at the pole frequency. And ultimately, a total of 90 degrees phase shift far away from the pole frequency. Okay, now we're going to hook our amp in negative feedback and we're going to give it a closed loop gain of 20 log a sub 0, big A sub 0. And now we know that the curve follows a flat line until it reaches the open loop response and then it follows the open loop response. Now, the difference between these two curves, this shaded area that I'm drawing right now, this is the loop gain T sub S. We can find the low frequency loop gain is 1 plus A sub 0 times beta, but the loop gain has a function of frequency that's the difference between the two curves, the red curve and the blue curve. Now, the point where the loop gain goes to 0 is the point where the two curves intersect. This is T of S is equal to 1 or and dB 0 dB. Now if we plot a line directly from this point down to the phase response then we can measure the angle of T sub S And here it shows up as approximately 90 degrees. Actually, we're showing this as minus 90 degrees. Now, our criteria state that we need to have a phase shift of 180 degrees in order to be unstable. So here we have minus 90 degrees plus or minus 180 degrees is not equal to zero or a multiple of 360 degrees and hence the amplifier is stable. This difference minus 90 plus 180 degrees is equal to minus 90 degrees sorry, is equal to plus 90 degrees, is our phase margin. We'll look at what phase margin means in the next few slides.